Is there anyone out there? Enter if you dare. Anna! Are you sure you put this folder down here? Who are you? Do you have any idea who I am? Franzi Italiana. Amo la cucina, la cafetina. Andare al cinema e guardare la televisione. Leave, no. I don't want to have my husband kill me. <laughs> what do you want it? I was thinking you'd change your mind. Well, that crossed my mind. Got the money. Have I ever let you down before? It was always the first time. Let's get a drink. Thank you. I lost my wife, too. Something you had to live with day by day. My wife was murdered, and my only daughter kidnapped. It's not quite the same, is it? Well, they certainly picked the wrong family to target this time around, didn't they? But you must be careful not to be caught. I'm going to find my daughter, Edward. That's the rest of the cash. 5,000 sterling. But that's all you've got for the duration. I'll need more. There is no more. 
Oh, Samuel Archer's got so many people working for him. His web covers the globe. He's even got links to the FBI. You'll find photographs of his men in the empire. He's chosen a small rural town to do their business from this time around. It's well off the radar. I've included the location with the photographs, but that's all the information we have. The rest, kid, will be down to you. Oh, I'm sure you'll be fine. You've tracked human trafficking gangs your entire career. That should be a doddle. Oh, I'll find them. You know, MI5 have produced some wonderful intelligence officers over the years. Don't let what happened to your wife and daughter cloud your professionalism. Consider this a favor. I won't be sending you under normal circumstances, will I? You're lucky we're friends. I want to be able to look them in the eyes. Just once. I know. Look, once you finish your assignment, just get the first train back to London. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Well, there were men who didn't want me to send you. They said you were far too close to the trees, so to speak. I just hope you appreciate all my efforts. Anything else? Yeah, actually. Listen. When you feel ready to talk about, no, about what happened, I can be a very good listener, that's all I'm saying. I'll keep it in mind, thanks. What do you do? One more thing. What's that? When I find Samuel Archer, I'm gonna kill him very slowly. You can do what you like to Archer. Just make sure you get the first train back to London. A cover story's already in place. We can't have a high five agent found dead in small town England. Do you understand, kid? Understood. Good. When you finish your drink, get a taxi to Euston. Your tickets have been booked in advance. Right. It's a lovely little town you'll be visiting. You should enjoy the peace and quiet. Good luck. on Kit. He arrived this morning. He'll be out hunting already, I expect. Wouldn't it be easier if Samuel just had him killed? I'm the one who controls Samuel. I'm the one who pulls the strings around here. Anyway, it's my idea to bring his daughter in. It's my mess to clear up. That's why I love you, my sweet little puppet master. If I'd known Kit was one of us, I'd have left him well alone. Finish your drink. I have plans for you soon. Yes? Mark Jones. Yes, why? I'd like to chat with you. Do I know you? I know your boss. Who are you? Could we talk inside? We can talk here. Here is just fine. <clears throat> I prefer inside. Please, I have cash. I don't want money, I want information. Information? Where's your boss, Mark? My boss? Where's Archer? I don't know. You don't have to do that. I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is he? And if I tell you, what will you do to him? 
I shall kill him, Mark. There's a very good chance I shall kill him. Who are you? I'm the husband of the wife you and your boss helped to murder. I'm not going to help you. I didn't think you'd talk so easily. Uh, Location. 21, First Street. Uh, oh, that wasn't so difficult, was it? I'll be here soon. I suggest you eat something before they arrive. Oh, suit yourself. Just don't complain later when you get hungry. You have the girl ready yet? You have got work to get finished beforehand. And you are nothing but a slave driver. They think I pay you. You'd be lost without me. Keeping organized has never been your strong point. Valentine's daughter. Anna. Keep her back from me. You sure that's wise? I've always had a soft spot for pretty blondes. Mm-hmm. And so do our clients. You need to stop mixing business with pleasure. Anyway, they're ready for viewing. Once you've cleared your desk, I'll allow you to join us. You're a strict woman, Margaret. And that is why we have such a good business relationship. I like to keep everything and everyone in order. The guests here again? Two of them. They're being looked after. Good. Are you expecting any more? No, not today. Word is out we have a fresh consignment. We're just waiting for the response. You think they'll buy it? I'd imagine so. As long as you keep your hands off the merchandise. Well, we did have a good quarter. They say we can ease our foot off the gas pedal a little bit this month. Now that Valentine's off the radar, it's gonna be a lot easier to do business. At the end of the day, I work for you, Samuel. I'll do whatever you ask. <laughs> I love it when you say that. Well, you have 10 minutes to finish this look, and then I'll come and get you. I'll be ready for you soon. I hope you're not going to behave like this with our guests. They've come a long way to see you and they're willing to pay a lot of money. You've got no idea what you've got yourself into, have you? Talking in riddles again. When my father finds out I've been taken, you're going to find yourself in a lot of trouble. Do you think the other girls don't say the same thing? You need to understand we've been doing this a long time and we are very careful. This time, it's going to be different. How so? You'll find out soon enough. You're very beautiful, Anna. But I'll need to tidy you up a bit before you meet the others. You can keep your hands off me. It's best not to fight them, my sweet. My advice is to just go along for the ride. The girls who survive are the ones who play the dutiful girlfriend. You're about to start a new life. The sooner you accept your sudden change in circumstances, the better. If you fight them, they'll just replace you. These are rich and powerful people we're dealing with. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I don't need your advice. I'm trying to help you. Hmm. Cut my ropes and help me that way. And risk losing my own life. There are limits to my kindness. I'm surprised you even sleep at night. I play my role. Now I have everything I want. I suggest you do the same. I'd rather die than lose my soul. And you'll learn the hard way. One day you'll understand I was trying to help. I'll be long gone before that day arrives. That's what they all say. This time it's going to be different. They all say that too. You are going to die. I want you to understand that. I don't frighten easily. 
<laughs> That's what they all say. I'm sorry, have we met? I don't believe so. I would have remembered your face in this little town. Well, I arrived last night. I see. My name's Kit. Simone. Sorry, you just remind me of someone here once more. Someone nice, I hope. Very much so. Are you here for work, Kit? Something like that. It was lovely meeting you. I have to run along now. Well, perhaps we can meet again. Yes, I'd like that. I, I often take a stroll in the evenings in one of the local parks. Do you have a favorite park? I'd be interested in making a new friend. Maybe Queen's Park this evening. Eight. It might be a good time to try. I really hope they don't keep us waiting here all day. Um, they usually very punctual. I paid enough money, I bloody well hope so. This is my third time. The quality is very good, my friend. Stand there and smile. Our guest is here. Wonderful. Oh, hi, my. How nice of you to join us. Your team has done well this time. Thank you. And a very warm welcome to you both. The pleasure is all ours. Trust you both are happy. Absolutely. Do you care for a drink before we start? Um, just a glass of water for me. I am teetotal. Very well. Drinks are on their way. Thank you, Margaret. A bite to eat, perhaps? I have already eaten. Very well. I'm very impressed, Samuel. You have exceeded yourself this time. Well, we went out of our way to bring you the very best quality. We went through a great deal of trouble. So glad you're both happy. Can't tell you how pleased that makes me. So, we'll start the bidding. Say we get this show on the road. Cool. I didn't think you'd show up. I'm not that kind of person. I would never agree to meet someone and not show. Wouldn't want that done to me. You seem upset. Are you okay? Yeah. 
You're staring at me. I'm sorry, you just remind me of someone very special. You look just like her. Your girlfriend? My wife. She was very beautiful. I see. Did she leave you? Well, you could put it that way. I don't understand. She was murdered. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't imagine what you must be going through. You learned to cope with it. I couldn't. Anyway, why are you so unhappy? Nothing. I... I just haven't heard back from my friend today, so... I'm sure they'll call. Yes, I expect they will. I've lost you. Sorry. You look so deep in thought. I was thinking of my wife. I understand. One day, I'll find the man that took her life. Perhaps that man is out there looking for you too. Oh, I hope so. It's not healthy to hold in all that anger. It's what keeps me alive. It could end up costing you it. I'll take my chances. I'm sure your friend will call. No, I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking of... I was thinking that it would be wise for you to leave this town as soon as possible, Mr. Valentine. Care to explain why? Sometimes you just can't fight back. Not when they have something on you. I'm not sure I follow you. You leaving? I have a lot to do this evening. I see. It was lovely meeting you again. I wish it would have been under better circumstances. Feeling is mutual. You're a very peculiar man, Mr. Valentine. Unusual circumstances can do that to someone. You take care. I hope you enjoy your stay in our lovely town. And I hope someday you find a new love. Oh, just when I was beginning to enjoy my own company. You'll find love again. When you least expect it. Goodbye, Mr. Valentine. You make a habit of seducing married men. Just when I have the time. Why me? Why not you? I hope you're going to untie me after. I wouldn't have thought so. You know the pass. I couldn't stand it. It's killing me to see you suffer. We need to clear this mess up before Mother gets back. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll have it spotless before she gets back. This has to be the last time. You have to feed. 
This has to be the last time we do this, Anna. Do you understand? Dad, you know I'd do anything for you. I'm serious. This has to stop. This is our home, our sanctuary. I know. Who is it? It's me. to impress a girl, kid. Did you follow me? I did. Could you give me a drink? I'd like one. A glass would be nice. I'll push you luck. Take a seat. I just might share this with you. I don't really know you, do I? That's funny. I was just thinking the same thing. Have you lived here long? Long enough. Didn't want to explore? It's a big world out there. You wouldn't ask that if you knew how this town operated. People run away all the time. What makes this town so special? If only you knew. Look, I didn't come here to be interrogated. So let's just stop with all the questions. What did you come here for? Oh, someone's popular. Who is it? Who the hell are you? I said, who is it? Yes? There's someone out there wants to see you. Urgently. Does this person have a name? Oh, they didn't want to give me a name. What's he look like? Well, I would say he's in his early 40s. Short black hair. And a stern expression. Do you know him? Not yet. I'm going. You don't have to leave. I'll be ten minutes. Wait here for me. Ten minutes? That's all I'm giving you. Well, that's quite a catch. Not my type. <laughs> I said that about my wife twenty years ago. Send me an anniversary card, shall we? Follow me. You're in a great deal of danger, Mr. Valentine. It's common in my line of work. I know, we both took the same career path. MI5. We know why you're here. We heard about your wife and daughter too, my uh, sincere condolences. I'm not leaving here until Archer's dead. How the feeling you're going to say that? Didn't catch your name. Well, you call me Marshall. You know Edward? Edward did a very poor job. Your cover was blown before you left London. Edward's first class. I guess I'll have to take your word on that, Marshall. The very fact we're talking should raise alarm bells. What exactly do you want? I want you to leave town. That's what I want. I don't care if you kill Samuel. Is that clear? I'm not leaving here until Archer's dead. Is that clear enough here? Well, get your business sorted this evening. We can't have dead bodies lying around. I'll even send a chat to pick you up if you like. I'm very friendly that way. I'll make my own way if it's all the same to you. Well, well that's fine. I wish you the very best of British. Oh, by the way, the station serves a very fine coffee. I'd uh, take advantage of that fact if I were you.
Anyone here? I have your parcel. Is there someone there? You're five minutes late. I'm sorry, I got stuck in traffic. Put the parcel on the floor. Well, that wasn't very polite. I'm about to do a spot of decorating. I was thinking dark red would suit this room. Don't you want to know what's in the parcel? Look, I'm just here to earn a few pounds. I don't need to know what's in that parcel. You like it? What's it for? It's for your blood. Excuse me? Deep breath and count to ten, my lovely. <laughs> Fantastic. The finest and the rare crown. Valley on the ancient Tisbo. Samuel pay her a big money for this. Forget about Samuel. Go to Martian Direct and cut out the middleman. We'll make so much more. Good point. The amo. Well? I tried to warn him off. And did he take your advice? Would you listen if I killed a member of your family? So we get rid of him? Can it look that way? I think it's for the best. You still got my back? Always. Afternoon. Jesus. Are you really the best they could find? Excuse me? I'd stop moving if I was you. I am late for an appointment. Who with? My doctor. Well, you look fine to me. Well, looks can be deceiving. I have a heart condition. And if it goes unchecked, ow, I can die. Ow. I'm going to ask you one more time. Who sent you to follow me? You're hurting me. I don't ow. care. Ow. Marshall sent me! Marshall! Marshall? Well, that does surprise me. I held him in higher esteem. You're not gonna kill me now, are you? You're not worth killing. I feel embarrassed taking your life. I agree. Can I go now? You're free to leave. Is there anything else you would like me to tell Marshall? Yeah. Tell him to back off. I'm not sort of man that's been put in a corner. Sure. It was nice meeting you. And I certainly hope that you find what you're looking for. Oh, I'm sure I will. The lady left. 
You should have been a detective. She gave me this note to give to you. How sweet of her. Do you want to read it or not? Why not? I could do with some entertainment. Something I can do for you? Well, it's just I wondered if you wanted a bite to eat. Kitchen's been open for over an hour. Not hungry. We get a lot of our income from meals. I think you can probably understand in a small town like this one, we don't get too many guests. I'll drop by the local food bank, rustle up a couple of guests for you. You've got an answer for everything, haven't you? I try. Well, I'll be downstairs if you need me. Kitchen's open till ten, just so you know. Appreciate it. Any updates? We have them. Great. He's in a safe house with Sasha and the rest of the gang as we speak. Good work. You look exhausted. Can I pour you a drink? I won't say no. I need to kill him straight away. I think Finch, you will want to play with him first. He needs to be killed ASAP. It's the rush. Sasha knows what she's doing. You've got no idea what you're playing with. <laughs> I don't care. I've done my job. I found the guys bring him in, and now I just want the money. And you said I could have a little extra reward if I was a good boy and did a good job. I think you've earned a bit of playtime. What do you say, Michelle? You're the boss. I just do as I'm told. Good to know. You've got ten minutes. I need longer. Ten minutes till we kick you out. Kid. Kid, wake up. Wake up, kid. <clears throat> Don't find it. Where am I? I'm trying to stop them. I beg them to let you go. Save your tears. I'm not interested. Believe me. Where am I? The house belonging to Samuel. Samuel Archer. So you work for him too? I won't let them kill you. Oh, I won't die that easily. You'll find that out soon enough. I told them to leave you alone. You didn't try hard enough. Everybody wants you dead. Archer runs everything in this town. I had a feeling you knew Archer. I came here to kill him. Why? Oh, don't play dumb. He's in possession of something very valuable to me. And I think you know everything that's going on in this little town. I have no idea what you're talking about. Your little gang took my only daughter. I wasn't involved in that. And the other girls? My younger sister. You have no idea how deep this goes. Oh, I understand very well. See, it's my job to understand. They just stole from the wrong guy this time. 
Nothing to say? You should have left this town when you had the chance. Where is Archer? Simone! You don't know what you've walked into. I asked you a question. This is a very small town. And there are many people involved. I think I'm beginning to get the picture. I don't think there's anything I can do for you now. Well, you could untie my hands for a start. <laughs> Just as I thought. If I get you out of here, will you take me with you? Will you take me far away from this place? I think that I would go anywhere with you. I'm not the man you think I am. Let me be the judge of that. I think you're a good soul. Simone. I'm sorry I had to end like this. Edward. You were getting far too good at your job. You were beginning to cost us. Cost you? I should have killed you when I had the chance. You caught me on a bad day. I'm not afraid of you. Just wait. We knew you'd follow your daughter. Archer bought you off. Archer buys everybody off. We were making a killing till you showed up. Human trafficking is a very lucrative business. You won't see your daughter again. You're going to pay for that. <laughs> I don't think you're in any position to make threats. Mr. Archer's not happy. His men found Mark's body. You really do have to disappear. <laughs> not such a tough guy anymore, are you? <laughs> Leave Mr. Valentine alone, Bobby. There's a good chap. What did you do with my daughter? Well, you really have to ask. She was stolen to order, Ken. And we got a good price for her, too. I am going to rip your heart out. Oh, Anna was so young and beautiful. Satanic ritual. There's another gang that steals girls like her to order. But then you should know this. It was your job to track such gangs. I was selected specially to hunt people like you. If we know that, you're the best. That's why you had to go. Interpol. MI5, that will take a juicy cut. You were beginning to rock a very lucrative boat. That's not what I meant. I was chosen for other reasons, specific reasons. And what might they be? Gangs like yours, beginning to tread on our toes, too. I don't follow you. My people have a taste for fresh blood, too. Your people? You're not the only secret society that operates within MI5. Only we've been around for a very long time. Now you're just talking in riddles. She was very pretty. Sasha, be quiet. This doesn't have to get ugly. This is only business. These things are never personal. 
You were ruining our business. We had to find some way to lure you here. Plus, we got to make cash from Anna's sale. It was a win-win situation. Where is she? It really doesn't matter now. Tell me where my daughter is! I'm afraid you're far too late. Your daughter is dead, Mr. Valentine. Let that be the end of the matter. I shall spare you the gruesome details. Oh, I'm sure you know what these groups get up to. <laughs> Anyway, I did my homework. She's not even your real daughter, is she? Can't you have children, Mr. Valentine? By choice. Choice? Bad blood. Oh. I am going to kill you all. <laughs> so you keep saying. And I'm sure under normal circumstances, we'd all be in a great deal of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I shall try to make your passing as painless as possible. Believe me when I tell you, I take no pleasure in killing a fellow agent, especially one as good as you. You get your dirty little hands off me. <laughs> This is going to hurt a lot. I will do my best to cause as much pain as possible. Sasha, just get on with it, will you? Just have me a little fun, my love. You always spoil my fun. <laughs> I am looking so forward to watching you die. I'm gonna get a lot. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of pleasure out of this. I'm so sorry. Tranquilo. Why are you taking me away from my family? I'm going to see the boss now. I'll ask him for you. Please. Tranquilo. Please, no. Please, no. No, no. 
Very well this evening. The other girl fetched a good price. Clients were very happy. This is going to make us wealthy too one day. She'll have to change her attitude before that can happen. She will learn to submit. You'll have a long wait. She's spirited. We have clients who like that. Go to hell. That's my goal. What should we do with her? She'll come with me. Finish here for the evening. Very well. Do you have any work left to complete? Bits and pieces. I'll leave the keys with you if that's the case. Fine. Hope you sleep well tonight. I'm so sorry I had to end this way. What is it like knowing that you're about to die? I wouldn't be so sure. I admire your courage. I will say that much for you. Hey, do you mind? I was just talking to this lovely man. Keep your distance, bitch. That's not a way to talk to a close friend. I'm sure you wasn't raised to talk that way. You should be ashamed. I said keep your distance. And if I don't? Then I'll scratch your eyes out. <laughs> well, I will leave you with your man, Simone. I advise you to enjoy every last second. He won't be around for much longer. One more word, Sasha. One more. And I swear to God, I will kill you. The thing I needed to tell you. I'm not interested, Summer. It's about your daughter, you need to know. What about her? Is she out? Simone! They were lying to you. She's still alive. She's still alive? Very much so. Is she hot? Simone! They will harm her, I know that much. 
<sighs> Where is she? What difference does it make? There's nothing you can do to save her. Tell me where they're keeping my daughter. Hey! Move. You know, Mr. Valentine, I sure hope it takes a long time for you to die. It's not my time to die. No, really. <laughs> what makes you so sure? Don't torment him. Quiet. I asked you a question. You, you should be very afraid. <laughs> afraid? <laughs> why, why should I be afraid? Never cross a vampire. <laughs> oh, what? It's happening in your face. <laughs> What's happening in your space? Oh, God! So twice each century, I'm very picky. Each <laughs> century. Be quiet and just enjoy. <laughs> oh, this could be fun. <laughs> it will be. What the hell's going on? Are you having a fun time, my feet? What the hell are you? I like to nibble a bit. <sighs> this is intolerable. Simply intolerable. Is this some kind of joke? If you're playing silly buggers, then you're messing with the wrong woman. Jesus. You've been a close friend of Samuel Archer for many years now, Margaret. You really should learn to keep better company. What do you want? I want to know where Samuel is. And then? And then? You took my daughter from me. Daughter? Anna. Her name's Anna. You took her from me, and then you killed her mother. I don't know what you mean. Anyway, you really need to leave. It's getting late. I need to lock up. You've been running a human trafficking ring for decades now, supplying young girls to wealthy clients, clients who dabble in the black arts. You need to leave. You need to leave now. You see, I know all about your little operation. It's my job to disrupt gangs like yours. Do you want me to call the police? The irony is, you were supplying practicing Satanists. Only your men stole from the real undead this time. 
I couldn't help find that amusing. You stay away from me. <laughs> Where is she? I told you I don't know. Where is my daughter? Where is Samuel Archer? Oh, that's better. And that wasn't so difficult, was it? You really should have run when you had the chance. He's coming. Ashul Mabes. A Benny. You look a bit tired. I've been out in the sun too long. Care for some lapis lazuli? How is the lovely Michelle? She's having a bite to eat. I'll be joining her later. And Anne. Oh, she's with Samuel. I'm so glad you're happy with my work. Where's my adrenochrome? Signore, per favore. La promessa volta sarai. Fortunato. Like nectar to the gods. Where's my money? I need my big son, baby. Be patient. Perché la persona devona sempre rovinare la cosa? Idioti, stupido, ora sono infastidito. He's not making any sense. Too many murders can do that to a man. And he was getting far too expensive. Love and they suffer. Well, you're never perfect, are we, ladies? Quite.
Yes? Where in the hell are you? Why are you shouting, Mike? I couldn't hear you. I, I was worried about you. There's no need to lose your temper. Are, are you on your way home? Yes, I'm on my way home. It's late. I was studying late. Why are you behaving like this? You need to stop behaving like this. I have a test in a few weeks. I'm already under a lot of stress. You'll be home soon? Yes, I'll be home soon. You still there? Hello? Uh, I, I need to go now. Mia! Mia! Slow down. Please, just help me. Help you? We have to run. <laughs> run where? Run from what? <coughs> What's going on? Someone chasing you? Be quiet. Don't speak. You don't have to be afraid, you know. I'm ex-military. I can handle a couple of trunks. What's your name? You're very pretty. Get your pretty hands off me. Don't you think I deserve a little something for helping you? It's true. I was only being friendly. Don't you come any closer now, I tell you. I I'll call the police. Stay back. I won't tell you again. Don't make me fetch you. Are you hungry? No. Water. I'm not thirsty. Very well. It's you. Who? My father. No one knows where you are except for me. He'll find you. That's a lot of noise for such a small town, isn't it? Be quiet. Are you frightened? You're the only one who needs to understand fear. I've waited a long time for someone like you. You should enjoy every minute. You don't have much time left. No, I'm gonna enjoy you. Don't you worry about that. Look, you could still let me go. I'll even put in a good word for you. <laughs> I answer no man. My father is more than just a man. Do you know how many men I've killed with my bare hands? That doesn't frighten me. I could break your neck right now, do you understand? But you won't. You'd miss me far too much. What are you? Something you'll never be able to control. I want you to want me. That's all. <laughs> I will. Just not the way you think. Oh, it looks like you could have guests. Perhaps my father has arrived sooner than expected. Be quiet. He will be very pleased to meet you, I can tell you that much. I'm gonna go check outside. I'd stay here if I were you. It's better to die in your bed than out there in the dark and cold. One more word out of you. Put a bullet between those pretty eyes of yours, do you understand? It wouldn't have the effect you were looking for. What do you mean? Just been time. Don't 
boy. Go. Go and see who's outside. I'll still be here when you get back. I wish you'd stop speaking those words. I have to keep you on your toes, don't I? You just wait here until I get back. Of course. Anything you say. I know you're out there. We'll be together again soon. Hands off, bitch, that piece is more. Yours? I did all the dirty work. Dirty? You can say that again. Watch your mouth. Watch yours. <clears throat> I brought Joey here because I want to start hearing some answers. All this talk of monsters and shit. I found Margaret laying dead on the floor. It took me an hour to clean up her body. I want to start hearing the truth. You start. He was huge. Don't exaggerate. He was like, I don't know, over eight feet tall. I saw everything. Stop lying. I'm not. Look. <laughs> Imbecile. You know, I made a big mistake hiring this idiot. I couldn't have put better myself. Did you follow him? No. We were too scared. Scared? Hmm. I pay you both not to be afraid. You didn't see him. You would understand. He's saying Bobby is telling the truth. Partly. I didn't deserve that, boss. Would you like another one? Hmm? He wasn't human. <laughs> I'm telling the truth. She is. You're trying to cover for his tracks. You let him escape. Do you oh. think I'm stupid? You didn't see him. If you saw him, you'd believe. He changed right before our eyes. Do you believe me now? Be quiet. You can still get away if you leave now. Sit down. No one's leaving. We stay here till first light. <laughs> he won't be alive by tomorrow morning. What was that? You had your chance. We need to leave. Stay where you are. One more footstep and I'll kill you both myself. <laughs> Bullets will have no effect on my father. You don't understand. We need to leave now. The idiot's right for once. Can you see anything? He won't reveal himself to you. You'll only see him when it's too late. Shut up. Kill the bitch. If you don't kill her, I will. Get the car keys from my desk, Bobby. Yes, boss. Where shall we go? I have safe house to scatter around. We'll be safe there. That's what you think. What about her? There is plenty like this one. We'll get you a new toy. Him the gun. Yeah. Ready when you are, boss. Can I please just come and watch you all die? Kill her! 
Are you kidding me, right? Stay close. Get off me. Sasha? Bobby? Where's everyone? He's here. Anna. Father. What are you? I am a friend of Baphomet. <laughs> I'm gonna find you, Kit. I'm gonna find you both. You know it was the only way. I know. Well, now you're stuck with me for eternity. Uh, sounds quite good to me, Dad. <laughs> Are you uh, hungry? I want to be the one who treats you this time. Very well. We must be quick, though. We can't miss our train back to London. After you. We have rich pickings to choose from here. We'll just make sure it's a good vintage this time. <laughs> I shall. And then? And then we go back to our nest. <laughs> 